In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine the percentage or ratio strength of a solution. These two problems are typically what you would see as a pharmaceutical technician. So let's go ahead and start question number one. If 500 milliliters of a 15% volume per volume solution of methyl salicylate in alcohol is diluted to 1500 milliliters, what is the percentage strength volume per volume? So we're told in that very first part that the solution is made up of 15% volume per volume of methyl salicylate and alcohol. Now most of these problems can be solved using the formula quantity times concentration. So the initial quantity and the initial concentration being multiplied is equal to the final quantity times the final concentration. And we can easily substitute 500 milliliters in for quantity 15% written as a decimal, so 0 0.15 as the concentration, and 1500 written for Q sub 2, and then you solve for the second concentration. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you, but I also want to explain to you how to interpret the 15% volume per volume and what that actually means. So let me go ahead and quickly do this 500 milliliters times 0 0.15, and that dot represents multiplication. Then we have 1500, that's the final quantity, and it's a volume. And we are looking for the percentage strength, so C sub 2. You multiply these two numbers out, so I'll do that on my calculator. 500 times 0.15, and you get 75. And the right side of the equation remains the way it is. Then we divide both sides by 1500. This is basic algebra here because by dividing both sides by 1500, let me show you what happens. Mathematically, this value and that value cancel out, leaving you only with C sub two on the right side. So we have this value on our screen divided by 1500, and that makes 0 0.05, multiply that by 100%, that's 5%. Now 5% is the same thing as one over 20, so the fraction 1 over 20, when multiplied by 100, gives you 5%. So you can also represent this as a 1 to 20 ratio if your question asks for that. Now to help you understand this a little bit better, whenever we have 15% volume per volume, that means that a known volume of solute which in this case is methyl salicylate, was added to a known volume of alcohol. So the volume of the solute over the volume of the solvent, which is what we're adding the solute to, led to 15% or 0 0.15. We can create a fraction for 0 0.15 by taking 15 over 100. 15 over 100 is the same thing as 0 0.15. So if you took 15 milliliters of methyl salicylate and you applied it to 100 milliliters of solvent, you would end up with a percentage of 0 0.15. But in our particular question, we're not using 100, but instead we're using 500. So what we can do is we can create a ratio where rather than 100, we want 500. And by solving this proportion, we can actually find out how much of this solute being methyl salicylate was applied to the 500 milliliters of the solvent being the alcohol. So if you cross multiply the following mathematical equation, so 500 times 15, that's 7,500. And 100 times x, we get 100x. And dividing both sides by 100, will lead us to how much active ingredient methyl salicylate was applied to the 500 milliliters. And this divides to 75. So 75 milliliters, and I'm using milliliters here because we're talking volume per volume, and usually volume, the units are in liters. So 75 milliliters of methyl salicylate were applied to 500 milliliters of solvent. And that in turn was diluted to 1500 milliliters. 
and we use the following equation to find out its percentage strength after. Let's apply this idea to question two. In question two, if 50 milliliters of a 1 to 20 weight per volume solution of aluminum acetate is diluted to 1,000 milliliters, what is the ratio of strength weight per volume? So this time we know a particular weight or mass of the solute, and it was applied to a volume of solvent. That's how to interpret this weight per volume expression here. Now unlike in question number one, they've given us a ratio. So rather than them telling us 15%, they say 1 in 20. You can rewrite this ratio as a fraction, and 1 over 20 is equal to 0 0.05. Multiplying that by 100% gives you 5%. So rather than this 1 to 20, you can write down 5% instead, if that's what helps you understand better, then do it that way. Then we will use the formula Q1C1 is equal to Q2C2. We have 50 milliliters multiplied to the concentration of 0 0.05. Remember, always convert your percentages into a decimal. And that gets diluted to 1,000 milliliters. If we solve for x using the same method as before, you multiply this out, 50 times 0 0.05, and that is 2.5, 2.5 milliliters. And you multiply this out, which is 1,000 milliliters times x, nothing happens. Then divide both sides by 1,000 milliliters. And you should end up with your C2 value. And we get 2.5 divided by 1,000 makes, your calculator should give you a value of 0 0.0025, but when multiplied by 100%, when you multiply this value by 100%, you end up with 0.25%. So the concentration went from 5% down to less than 1% at 0.25%. Now you can also represent this as a fraction in case they ask you for a ratio. How do we convert 0 0.0025 into a fraction? Well, since there are four numbers after the decimal place here, you can write down this value of 25 over 10,000. The four numbers after the decimal place where the number ends represents the amount of zeros at the bottom. And reducing this down, 25 over 10,000 leads you to 1 over 400. So you can also write down 1 over 400 weight per volume in case they ask as a ratio, and they do. So that's the answer for question two. Now in case they wanted you to state the amount of active ingredient, you take this 5%, which is 0 0.05 as a decimal, and write it down as a fraction. 0 0.05 as a fraction is 5 over 100. Now we're not dealing with 100 milliliters of solvent. We're dealing with 50 milliliters. So we create a ratio, and focusing only on this part, our second fraction will have an unknown value at the top, and that will represent our active ingredient for 50 milliliters. Remember, since we're dealing with weight per volume, this is the weight of aluminum acetate, and this is the volume of the solvent. If we cross multiply to solve for x, we end up with 100x, because 100 times x is 100x, and 5 times 50 is 250. Dividing both sides by 100 now, we should end up with an x value of 2.5. So the weight of aluminum acetate was 2.5, and since we don't know the units, it can be anything. It can be in grams or ounces, we don't know. So 2.5 was the original weight of aluminum acetate in the 50 milliliters. And of course, even after dilution, this doesn't change. So there's still 2.5 of aluminum acetate in the 1,000 milliliters. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please use our website at biology-forums.com. The link is in the description. We'll see you again.